Hello YouTube and welcome again to Channel O. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Galaxy S20 app pairing function along with split screen in order to set up JBV1 and Waze quickly on your phone. I use um, a Valentine One Generation 2 as my radar detector and I like using both these apps at the same time and it used to be a minor hassle to set them all up and get them ready to go. Today I found out about the split screen function and how I can use app pairing uh, to set it up pretty quickly. Now the only way app pairing works is by using your edge screen. So let me get rid of this stuff that I have here now. I'm going to close all these and you'll notice on my app screen that I do not have, excuse me, on my edge screen I don't have um, any pairing set up and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So get out of that. So first thing, let's get out of this too. Um, First thing you have to do is enable edge pairing, excuse me, is uh, the edge drawer on your phone. And there's a lot of videos that show you how to use that. They call it edge screen, edge panels, things like that. But that's this thing when you pull it out. Sorry, wrong one. Uh, and it works really nicely. So first thing we do is you have to have the applications already running in order to set them up for the first time. So we will set up JBV1 and get out of that and we'll set up um, Waze. I'm putting these all up in my in-use drawer and we'll pick something else. Um, pick Trulia. Just doesn't make any difference. I'm just going to show you how to do it. So we'll go first go to the in-use applications and whichever one you select first is going to be the one that appears on top in your split screen. And I like having JBV1 on top because I can make it a little smaller. So that's, I have the JBV1 on top and then Waze underneath it. So you'll notice there's icons next to the apps. You're gonna tap on the JBV1 icon and that brings open, let's see if I can focus on this a little better. Um, that brings open a little submenu, and it says open and split screen view. That's what we want to do. We'll tap on that. All right, so the first one's already set, top one's already set. Now we're going to see which ones we can use on the bottom. I can use Truly. I just have that set up as an example. We want to use Waze. All right, you do not want to tap on the icon for Waze. You want to tap on the actual app. So tap on that. Now we've got the view that we want in just regular split screen. But I want to preserve the split screen so that all I have to do is tap on one button and it'll bring the, uh, excuse me, bring this view up automatically. So to do that, tap on this bar. It's going to show you something. It's going to take it away real quick. But if I tap on the middle bar, it shows you a little teeny icon, a plus, along with um, an image of the edge screen. So I'll do that again so you can see it. See that? Okay. Now, once I tap on that down here, you're going to see a little icon. It's going to drift away. So that's what we'll do. Tap on it and see the icon. It just took it away. All right. So now it's set up in my edge screen right down there at the bottom. So we'll make sure that it works clear out everything. We're going to close all my apps. Close JBV1. So I get in the car and I want to just start running these two apps at the same time. All I have to do is pull open the edge screen, tap on the pairing, and there you have it. So hopefully that, excuse me, I hope that was helpful to you. And remember, if you have a choice, take the high road. Have a good day.